Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to be debugging the program that we made last time. I clicked the verify button before recording this. Oops. And what came up was a few errors. First of all, in void loop, we need, we forgot the semicolons here. And then in the while loop, L value required left operand of assignment. Go ahead and hit the verify button and see if that fixed it. Left operand of assignment. So we have something here. So in this while loop, it's saying that we probably have an error here. With that space help, no. Hmm. Left operand of assignment. Try adding extra parentheses in here. Now we're going to evaluate this first. I bet that's probably what part of the problem is. No. Hold on a second. I decided that it would probably be better just to use an if statement instead. So we're going to do if Siri serial capital dot available and just go ahead and close parentheses because it automatically knows we need one open parentheses scroll all the way down to the end of the loop and then close parentheses we verify this It was happy with it. So now it's just time to add a little bit of white space. This is not required, but it's really helpful to make your program more easier to or easier to read. And I don't want to put it there. Excuse me. We put it there. And set up we can do the same. Which I was a bit in a rush last time because of the bandicam time limit. So I'll go ahead and describe it to you better. Twenty four through twenty seven are defined as outputs and twenty eight through thirty one are defined as inputs. I already told you about the variables. All ten of them. Set up we just begin serial communication. We're waiting for something to come, and if something does come in through the serial port, then we load it into temp seed. We turn it into four bit binary numbers, output it onto the bus leading as the seed into the number, or into the um, generator. We wait about a tenth of a second. We take it back, and lovely. A better way to do this would be to hook up the um, push button to it, because it's actually random. In this case, we actually have to add in something else, a for loop. Before that, way up here in setup, we get to do random seed. Hopefully you're not using this analog input, but just choose an analog read pretty much any pin that you have that you don't mind using I only use 13 for those of you with other boards find one that suits you it's just fine then we're going to want to use a random command when we use a for loop over here I'm sorry no not yet right there but for loop is going to be when we take the pin that has the low to high signal on it. When we take that one from low to high, that's how we'll do it. Then when it goes from low to high, it counts up one. We're going to use a random amount of loops to go from low to high on it. In order to do that, you use do the right high, and then low, high, low, high, low, on, on, and on, and on. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put in the random. I decided that I wanted to make this a little bit more random before we put in the random command. So to do this, you just put in random seed again before it, the other random seed, and you can do that one more time. And then put two closing parentheses before the semicolon. Use the parentheses checker to make sure you did enough. You have four at the end before the semicolon. This just ensures that you get a completely random sequence. Or a sequence so random it's hard to tell that it's not. Then down here. In between the digital write and the delay, we want to... Or the delay is actually part of the for statement of for loop. For int counter just standard procedure, or what I like to do. You can go ahead and put equals zero in there, not necessary, but you can just do it anyways. Counter is less than or equal to random, uh, let's do 15 or 16. By doing 16, that makes sure that it's only it's not going to move an entire loop. So if the start if your seed is zero, it can only go back to zero. It cannot keep going. This is just a time saver. You can make it as large as you want. I don't care. And your per the uh, compiler probably won't care either. And we can just do counter plus plus. Open stuff, do that. Alright. So, let's say that I have this thing hooked up to pin 25. It means I'm going to have to put another pin node up there, but... Digital... Write... 25... Low... Delay... 2... Do have a time to do the transition, and then digital write 25 high. And that's it. No, it's not. Take the delay out of there. And put that in after the for loop. reason for this is we're doing a random for loop, creating the necessary change that it needs to initialize, giving a small delay that we can register and count, and then go back. I should probably make that like 20. Just because of the data sheet rules. So now up here we need to put a, another pin mode, or no I don't, I can't use 25. Sorry, change that to 23, like what it did at the bottom. And up here between the serial and the other stuff, we're going to put... Uh, pin mode, 23, output. And that should be it for now. So we initialize the variables, we can, all 10 of them. We have a completely random sequence, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I put that many. You don't have to put that many if you don't want to. Let's verify it. That way we have a little bit of... Darn it. Okay. So we might have to do... Let's try this. Um, cross my fingers. No. Okay, so I can only do one. Ah, uh, well. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it anyways. It was just... hoping on my lucky stars. So after you delete the extra random seeds and change all the stuff, and make sure that you have the proper number written for that one, this program will work beautifully for you. Thank you for your time, and see you in the next...